What's up, Cancer? This is a motivational tarot forecast for your zodiac sign. You can apply this to your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign. So pretty much, I'm going to be pulling tarot cards that are going to be with intentions of expelling any sort of problems and motivating us to move forward and manifest blessings. So first card we received is this four of cups here. So it looks like there's a need to kind of distance the self just a little bit, temporarily, not too long, maybe one or two days, maybe four days or so, just to kind of gather one's thoughts and look within at this time. We may have been feeling that opportunities have been passed over or maybe we don't feel like accepting an opportunity or maybe other people around us don't feel like accepting opportunity the next card received is this ten of um, wands so with this ten of wands here the reason why we may be kind of feeling like we're not bothered with these opportunities is because we have a lot of responsibilities at this time so our intentions at this time is to gain more motivation in order to complete these responsibilities rather than holding them off and trying to kind of not deal with them, you know? Cancers could be kind of moody at this time and it's just because of all those energies that we have to deal with. Queen of Cups here. So we could be dealing with a water sign person or this could be ourselves, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. A nurturing figure. Let's see what else is going on here. There may be a need to be more empathetic at this time or to balance our empathy side, our emotions and feelings with our responsibilities. And once we're able to do that, we'll be less moody because we won't have an extreme pull towards one energy. We also received this Eight of Wands, which means there's a lot of swift communication coming in um, this week. Um, so this is for October 21st through October 28th, by the way. So it looks like <clears throat> there's a lot of communication coming in. And there's a need to actually ignore people. That's why I received this Four of Cups. I'm actually surprised. There actually is a need to ignore people and be discerning and choosy in who the heck you decide to communicate with. Because... Um, you have a lot of responsibilities and you don't have the time for the bullshit I'm seeing, Cancer. You have to be very choosy in the responsibilities that you decide to partake in. Because not everyone is responsible and not everyone is professional and serious about what they're trying to do. And if you're a serious and responsible and professional individual, you must be able to look at all these opportunities, look at all these responsibilities, weigh out these options. What can I get rid of? What am I emotionally connected to? What do I feel emotionally connected to? Because cancers have a mature sense of emotional connection. So, you know, cancers should be able to pick up on emotionally what's important and what's not. And then these communications that are coming in, you'll be able to detect which are important and which aren't. And um, this will be able to narrow things down. But definitely don't you know, ignore opportunities coming to you. You don't want to do that. We're motivated. Cancers are motivated to be responsible and choose our opportunities wisely. So that's pretty much what I see for cancers for the week of October 21st to October 28th. Good luck to you. Blessings, light, and love. Deuce, deuce.